Hey guys, Cleverclock back for a bit of an update video vlog thing. Uh, I kind of wanted to do uh, just kind of a recap of how this year has been and talk about kind of where I'm at now and also just talk about, you know, because some of you guys have asked what I plan to do next year. So let's talk about 2016 first. Uh, I started my channel in October of last year, but I did not like upload anything until December. So most of my channel's lifespan, like 90% or more was this year. And so I didn't know a lot about how it would work. Uh, I knew I wanted to do Pokemon content, but I didn't really uh, have a lot of direction starting out. And I couldn't really figure out what else I wanted to do. I did some side series, which we'll talk about in a bit, but I began kind of like trying to figure out like, what do I want my channel to be about? Uh, and, you know, I guess I was kind of nervous starting, you know, I didn't really, like I said, know what I wanted to do. And I never really was the most confident person, especially on a camera or in front of people. So it was something that was pretty challenging for me starting out. But uh, basically, I knew that I wouldn't be able to very quickly, like I wanted to upload videos every day or every other day. I just knew that that wasn't in uh, my ability to do it based on the amount of time I have. You know, I'm married now and I work full time as a programmer and so uh, I do those things and they're obviously priority first as well as time at my church. But I also still wanted to be consistent in my uploading and so I started out trying to upload very very often and then I got like to a point where I kind of stopped for a couple weeks and tried to figure out what I needed to do to make a change, to make it not only uh, less of a stressor on me and more consistent for you guys. And so uh, I decided that I wanted to upload, you know, maybe a couple videos a week or maybe one video a week occasionally. Uh, but I've always seen the pers you know, the purpose of my channel to be that like I want to create a positive and welcoming community for people who enjoy gaming, who enjoy Pokemon more specifically. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I feel like that's something that we've been able to do and it's been really cool to see how uh, not only the channel but my Pokemon League, the Gentlemen's Training Association, have been able to grow this year. And so I guess the first thing I wanted to talk about from there uh, is the GTA's success. So it's, it's been really cool because we started the league a little bit before I started um, my YouTube channel. And at first I was thinking, oh, they're going to be just two separate things I do with my spare time. And then after season, at the very end of season two, maybe, uh, the start of the Monotype Masters Invitational, I realized like, hey, I can, you know, merge these together and make it one like community. And so... You know, we started with seven coaches. Sorry, I'm gonna drink real quick. <laughs> mm. We started with seven coaches in season one, and that was really cool. But I wanted to continue to grow it, and we actually ended up having 12 coaches uh, come on for season two. One ended up getting kicked out, but that's okay. Um, but we still grow or grew. And then with the Monotype Masters, it's kind of an off-season thing, and we had a lot of fun doing that in the spring. In the summer, we had 12 teams for season three, and that was great, and we continued to like get uh, better. And that's when I started doing the recap videos, as you guys know. And then this most recent season, season four, we had 14 players, or coaches, sorry, 14 coaches, and we had two teams who uh, left the league early on but we still I feel like have grown as a community that everybody's improved drastically um, and I, I hope that my recap videos have had a hand in that you know so uh, I just wanted to say you know thank you for supporting that series for being part of that with me uh, I will I also wanted to talk about kind of like some of the other content I did outside of Pokemon stuff so I did first of all with Pokemon I feel like that's been the most successful stuff on my channel uh, but I did the competitive analysis videos, I've done all kinds of videos, mostly weekly recap videos for the Gentlemen's Training Association for each season. And I started in the monotypes, if not season two, I, I can't remember honestly. 
But then I also did very early in my uh, time on YouTube, Impossible Creatures, and I'm sorry for not finishing that play th or let's play. That was kind of the time I was realizing. Excuse me. That was kind of the time I was realizing where I needed to uh, make a change, and I wanted to focus more on Pokemon and. I felt like what I was doing was somewhat detracting from it and I was shifting from just wanting to be a let's player to covering different content in general and yeah I do some let's plays but also really focus on like trying to make people feel like their time is valued when they watch my videos which I'll get more into in a bit uh, but I did some impossible creatures let's play I did some multiplayer episodes which were really fun and I feel like those have done pretty well I also did a Duelist series, for those who don't know, definitely check it out, it was really fun. Uh, it's kind of like a cross of Hearthstone and Fire Emblem, if that makes sense. Maybe a little bit of like chess elements as well. That was really fun, and I did that for a little while. I also, the most recent non-Pokemon series I did was Zoo Tycoon, and I had a lot of fun doing that. That was such a throwback, and uh, I wanted to see how like these other series would do on my channel, because, you know... I enjoyed branching out and I wanted to see like if non-Pokemon content could do okay. And I feel like that's what they did is okay. We had a couple of episodes in, in the different series where they did a little bit above average, but I never, I got didn't exactly feel like they were the most popular. And that's probably more attributed to my skill as an editor and as a content maker than it is the content itself or like the games itself. Or the idea <laughs> but uh yeah the, re the retention was decent but yeah I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in the future as far as non Pokemon content goes but if you have any suggestions or anything that you would like me to try and do in the future whether it be a let's play or anything else uh, leave a comments or leave suggestions in the comments section below um, the other thing I wanted to kind of talk about is you know I haven't done a Nuzlocke because I feel like everybody does that and I know it for me, I see it as like a rite of passage, like I think I'll do one at some point, but uh, my problem is I can't do any new games like I would want to with a Nuzlocke because I don't have a screen capture device for my 3DS. So that I think has been one of the biggest things is I could do an older game and I have some custom uh, Nuzlocke rules and ideas that I know haven't been done before and that have not been created and so I would love to do those but I'm not sure if that's something you guys would want to watch so if you guys think that would be really cool I would love to do it just let me know if that's something you would be willing to watch in the comments again just the support has been great and I would just you know encourage you guys to like the video if you actually like it dislike it please I'm telling you like like the video if you really did enjoy it dislike it if you didn't enjoy it or you thought it was boring so that I know that I can improve on certain videos and leave comments on suggestions on things you liked, stuff like that, because I really need the feedback. And that's one thing that I'm gonna talk more about in a minute. So the next thing is the growth. Um, this this year has been crazy. Uh, I started the, the year with like seven subscribers and now we're at 21. And so that's pretty cool that I've essentially tripled our community. And that's been really cool because I wasn't expecting anybody to subscribe to me, honestly. Uh, I know that I can't, that I can sometimes be not the most interesting person to list, listen to, but I have tried to like learn and grow in that way, and I feel like it's just been cool to know that like people from around the world are wanting to like be a part of this community. Um, you know, as far as views and minutes goes, uh, we have we've got a, almost 1,600 views and almost 10,000 watch minutes. For this year and that's that's awesome I'm really excited just to know that like people are, have been consistently checking out my videos to some extent throughout this time and so it's been really cool and I hope that Pokemon Sun and Moon will give a boost to uh, you know our community and stuff so thanks again for the support it's it's really just amazing um, I do want to say kind of where I'm at now so I'm done talking about 2016 for the most part uh, the first thing is that I want to kind of repurpose my channel, refocus it. Next year I want to focus on... <coughs> sorry. Next year I want to focus on putting more effort into editing my videos and making them more like interesting and well paced so they don't drag on for long, especially the weekly recap videos because I, I want to cover those still, but like I don't want them to just drag on and not be interesting and 
because I, I can see how that wouldn't be like the most entertaining thing to watch. So I want to I want to couple my desire to help people learn something about Pokemon or about anything with, you know, a little bit more well paced production as far as that goes and maybe editing some more to make the quality of the videos a little bit better, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm not exactly satisfied with like how the reclap reclap <laughs> what is that weekly recap videos how they're performing um like i said I, I'm, I'm aware of the weaknesses of that series uh, i mainly do it again for those in the league who uh want to grow and learn about uh how they can improve their skills as a battler as a team builder as a drafter with with that in mind i also like want to keep doing that. Uh, I want to make these videos, you know, maintain that purpose. And I want others who are not in the league also to enjoy it and also to learn from those matches. And I, I feel like that's something that's beneficial, even if it isn't the most successful thing. So, you know, I know it's because they can run long and drag on, but I will be trying to put some more effort into making them a bit shorter without sacrificing that purpose or, or like cutting them short in any way. Uh, the next thing was that, what was it? Yeah, I, I kind of want to know from you guys, like, what uh, what content other than Pokemon or Pokemon related, but more so non-Pokemon content, would you like me to consider doing on the channel for 2017? Because, like I said, I, I don't really have any hard set plans about what I want to do outside of Pokemon for this next year. So if there's something that you would really like me to try or continue or do something with, uh, leave that comments in the or comment below. I really can't say that right. <laughs> comment below, and uh, I'll consider it. I'll probably respond to you, and we can go from there. So the last thing is, you know, I really want to learn how to grow or grow this community more and how to create better content. You know, I really want to continue this growth pattern. So if we could, honestly. You know, some people who started after me and are, you know, continually growing right now are also people who uh, have more subscribers than me by a long shot. And so that can be, like, hard for me to, like, realize it sometimes. Like, oh, that hurts. Like, I, I want to continue to grow our community that way. And, um, I think the main thing is I want... I want this to stay authentic. I want people who come and subscribe and like my videos to be people who actually want to watch them. <clears throat> so if we could get two or three times as many people as we currently have, so like 40 to 60 people on the channel by the next year, I know that's not very much in retrospect to some people, but I would be thrilled about that much less more than that and so I, I just really want to put a focus on the community this next year and making it more enjoyable and interactive and so uh, I want you guys to keep in mind to like like I said like or dislike the videos to subscribe or or even tell your friends or other people about it and share the videos and stuff because that helps out our community it doesn't just help me out I mean I'm not really like doing this for money I'm not doing this for a job uh, so I'm doing this to build a community, and so if you guys like the video, share the video, tell people about it, that like helps everybody because, <sighs> excuse me, that really helps everybody uh, feel the sense of more of a bigger community and what and growing, and that'll also in turn help the league because that means there's more people that might want to play, and then eventually we'll have this awesome community, and we, we currently have an awesome community, but I want to continue to grow it. So, with that in mind, I just want to let you know I'm going to be doing my part by trying to make better content, and what comes with that. And I would just, I need your support uh, more than ever in order to make this stuff happen. So, let's talk about 2017 now. What to expect from the channel. Um, again, I want to focus on the community and creating better content. I want people to still feel like when they come to see my video, it's not just, you know, there, there are some channels and some videos that are dedicated to just get, giving, have, letting people have a good time. And I am totally okay with that. I mean, that's great. But personally, what I want to do with my channel is I want my channel to be about teaching people something about, you know, when they come and spend 
anywhere between 10 and 30 minutes watching one of my videos. I want them to feel like it was interesting to them. Um, I want it to feel like they got something out of it and that their time wasn't wasted. And that maybe they're entertained as well. So that's kind of what I want out of my content next year. So with that in mind, I have a really big series that I'm in the planning and I want to continue to uh, plan and develop and hopefully have something to show you guys as far as a teaser trailer goes in the next couple weeks. Um, but I'm not going to really say more than that, but it's a really, really big series and I'm really excited because it, this has a, the potential to really grow our community. So. When it comes out and stuff, I really uh, would appreciate as much support as you can give being liking or disliking the videos, subscribing, sharing the videos, telling people about it that don't know about my channel, that don't know about Pokemon specifically, which is a bit of a hint as to what it's about. But we'll talk more about that as the time comes. When I put stuff out, you'll see more about it. <clears throat> so the next thing was... Uh, like I said, I'm going to be continuing to do the weekly recap videos. I'm not sure how that will work for off-season stuff, if I'll do something different. I still want to cover stuff for off-season activities, but mainly I'm going to be doing week weekly recap videos only for the actual seasons that we do. So that probably won't return in the same nature until Season 5, which will be in a few months. Um, as far as draft viability analysis goes, I'm gonna I have a long list of new Pokemon or updated Pokemon that I wanna do or that I wanna cover in the Alola decks. And so I'm gonna try and make that a weekly series, but I might also do bi-weekly depending on how it performs. But I have a long list of Pokemon that I wanna cover that I'm gonna be starting in the new year with. And I'll eventually go back to older Pokemon after I cover a satisfactory amount of Pokemon, but I want to first, you know, focus on newer Pokemon that might be something people don't know as much about, and so I want that to be the focus, and so expect those to come out <clears throat> in the near future. Um, one thing that I've always wanted to do is do some showdown lives or something like that, but personally they're not super interesting to me anymore uh, when I watch them from other creators, and that's nothing about them, it's, it's the content itself, I feel like it's gotten stale for me and so if I were to put that out I would enjoy it but I don't I feel like people might share some of those things you know so I, I probably won't do that unless you guys say hey please do some showdown lives or hey please do some you know stuff like on showdown whatever it be maybe but I still play it a lot so I could totally like do highlights and compilation videos just randomly you know stand out or standalone things where it's like oh I have enough of these really funny moments with this team or with this Pokemon to where I could put a video together and make it interesting and so that's what I might do um, but it won't be something that like is a series or or something to expect from my channel I may end up not doing it but I think it would be a fun idea and if you guys agree again let me know if you think that's a good idea uh, the last couple things would be just that the GTA Season 5 will be in a couple months. We will be doing an off-season activity, kind of like the Monotype Masters Invitational, in starting in the next couple weeks. But I wanted to go ahead and say for those interested, we have had some people ask about joining for Season 5. And I just want to let everybody know that we're still more than happy to accept people uh, into the GTA for the next season. So if you're interested, leave a comment, message me, um, do, you know, like, just let me know if you're interested. We're going to be putting an application together that should be up in the next week or so on the League website, so that'll be something to keep an eye out for as well. Um, be sure to let other people that you, you know, that, like, your friends, if you know friends that, uh, like Pokemon and might be interested in playing in the League, let them know about it. Let them check out the League website and show them the application and get them in touch with me. I have my email on the website, so if you need to let me know, hey, you know, I'm interested, I want more information or something like that before you even decide to fill out the application, just let me know. I'm more than happy to talk to anybody who wants to uh, learn more about that. So again, I will add the application in the next week, <clears throat> next week or so. Sorry about all the coughs. And then the last uh, thing that I really wanted to ask is 
I noticed that, like, I think I did a couple post-com matches for the Monotype Masters, where I would play the game and then talk through my thinking for the match, kind of like what I do already in the, G the GTA Weekly recaps, but for my matches only. And I did that in the Monotype Masters, and I didn't feel like it was super successful, but if that's something you guys would be interested in, in seeing from my channel um, during the, the off-season stuff, uh, I might be willing to do that as an alternative to the weekly recaps, or maybe I still do weekly recaps if that's something you still want me to, to do. So that's it, you know, for this this video, guys. Again, sorry this may have gone a bit long. I honestly don't know. Um, but thank you for watching. It means a lot that you would, you know, listen to this and, you know, consider what my channel has been and kind of where I'm taking it. And again, any and all feedback is very appreciated. Uh, be sure to like the video or dislike it, uh, to subscribe if you enjoy this and you're new. Thank you for watching, uh, and then share the video with anybody that you know. I really want to focus on growing this channel, and I'm going to need everybody's help to do that. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the new year. Bye, guys.